Here's the fencing problem. Now you'll notice with the diagram, I've changed this slightly on this side so that you can have a look at an example of this type of thing and then you can go back and do the original question yourself. So if we want to fence all of the boundaries, a couple of ways we can do this. Um, you can um, look at this as a series of vertical lines that you would need to then um, work out how many there are and, and calculate those. So there's uh, one, two, three that are 900 metres and one that's 600 metres. So you could, if you wanted to do, uh, list those like that, go 900 and there's three of those, and then add on the one that's 600. And then you could do the horizontal lines of if there's one, two, three, and those ones um, are clearly, if that's a thousand, then that would be 1500, three out of 1500, and then plus one out of thousand. Okay, and you could add those up together in that fashion and that would give you a total number um, of uh, both the perimeter on the outside of the whole shape, but also all of the internal lines for the paddocks. So that would be option A. Um, Option B would to look at each of these sections individually. So if that section there is 900 metres and there's um, three parts to the 900, that would make each of these individual little bits here, one of those, each, each of those would be worth 300 metres. And then all you need to do would be to count all of those up. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So that would be 11 lots of 300. And then do the same for this. So if that's 1,000 for those two sections, then one section would be 500. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 of those. Okay. And it would just be a case of working out those two answers. Um, and then that would give you the total number. Now, that should, in theory, give you the exact same, same answer. So in theory here, you'd have uh, 2,700 plus uh, 600 plus here, you'd have 4,500 and 1,000, okay? So 2,700 plus 600 is 3,300. Um, 3,300 plus uh, 4,500 will give you 7,800 plus 1,000 is 8,800 metres. And this one here, 11 by 300 gives you 3,300, 11 by 500 gives you 5,500. That'll also give you 8,800 metres as the total distance for this particular shape. Now, when you go back to your original question, which has this section missing, um, you'll get a slightly different answer. Now, the cost per metre um, is really just a multiplication question. So the cost per metre in question is 5.75, but if, in effect, it's what we would know in algebra as being X, it's the cost. So it'll be this total meterage, 80, okay, and it's X, okay? So in this case, it would be 880 times by 5.75. And that will give you the total cost, okay? Finally, you get to the fencing contractor at 20 metres per hour, okay? So that'll be 20 metres, and it'll go into the 8,800, okay? Now, what we know with these division questions is that if we divide by 10, divide by 10, that'll eliminate one of those zeros like this, okay? And then 2 into 880 is going to give us 440. So it's going to take us... So it's going to take 440 hours in order to complete that particular task.